Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, March, like, I don't know, 20th, something like that. I um, was heading into work, going to a uh, call, and I just got rerouted. Apparently, there's a, <clears throat> there was an overnight call for the on-call guys last night that they've been out there all night, and they will still be out there for the foreseeable future. And I am being told to go relieve uh, one of the technicians. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know what the call is. I just know that I got to go relieve them and ooh, something fell in the back. I just didn't know that I got to go relieve him and uh, take over his duties for today. So we'll see what we got when we get there, gents. so the fans aren't running and I'm checking voltage right there so we got zero volts that means that uh, this coil is not cold enough so you got that uh, I think this is the one the fan delay it's not turning the fans on so um, right now I'm checking as you can see I'm checking across the liquid line Right there, and I'm gonna show, I'm gonna post a screenshot of what I have. It's about a three degree, two to three degree uh, drop across that dryer, which means we're gonna have to take it out. And this is a dead giveaway, right here. Uh, your TXV is frosting up. Your frost should probably begin around back here somewhere, right around there. So uh, these guys already pulled the screen, but once we pump it down, I'm gonna be able to pull this screen also. All right, guys, there's the screen, nice and clean. So, just pull the screen live. The screen's good, only thing is that dryer, we're gonna have to pull it. All right, guys, that last one was A09. This one right here is A11. This one's struggling also. So it seems to be doing a lot better. Let me take a temperature on it. 11 T1. It is running zero degrees. We'll see if uh, it continues to struggle. Here it was uh, definitely struggling. Now let's go to check 11 T3. So 11 T3. This is another one that's struggling right here. It was running like <clears throat> I don't know, see how far it drops, but it definitely should be in the negatives already. Okay, this is A11 T3. I'm trying to get a temp drop across this dryer. It's way down there. No way. I can get this clamp in there. So, I'm just going to have to assume that this dryer is bad. Look at the frost pattern on this valve. So we're gonna pump these, all these circuits down, pull the dryers, I mean, I'm sorry, pull the screens, make sure that all the screens are good to go, and then we're just gonna cut these dryers out. Or unsweat them so I can piss off the guys on Facebook. <laughs> That's struggling. 
810 T2 and in this case it's running at one degree, two degrees. So see if I can actually fit my clamps in there to check this dryer. Alright guys, here's another one that I cannot get uh, a clamp on the other side of the dryer. Um, but once again, frost pattern on the TXV just tells me that there's a restriction. Uh, like I said, there's only two things that will cause a restriction, the screen or the dryer, and I guarantee you it's the damn dryer. At this store, uh, we always cut them out when they give us a problem. We do not replace it. We cut it out, straight pipe it, and uh, go from there. So that's what we're going to do. First piece brazed in, get AO9 T1. My buddy over here is gonna be do a T2 and I'm gonna do AO9 T3. These are not plugged up, but since the circuit is already pumped down and we're gonna pull a vacuum, we're just gonna go ahead and pull these dryers. Look at the location of that dryer, man. Jesus. You always gotta verify it. You got no pressure. No pressure, we already bled it all out, so we're good to go. Can't even see what I'm doing, guys. It's so damn tight here. Jesus Christ, guys. This one was a little difficult to get out. Let's see where I'm gonna take it out from. <laughs> you were born in there. You ain't going nowhere. Good to go. Uh, let's see if I can get a line in here. But uh, there's a 3 8 line right there. I can't really see it. Um, right there. Took off the uh, dryer. And uh, we're good to go. We're going to go pull a vacuum. Then we'll be able to pressurize it, check for any leaks, and then let it go. Quick little video. Man. <laughs> These guys have been here all night. <laughs>
careful doing this guys look at that oh, I just charged my finger really bad It might be a little excessive, but we are good to go. Sometimes it's good to go a little bit hotter. There she goes. Uh, check our joints. Right there in the bottom. Yeah, we're good to go on this one. Now my buddy's just doing the last one on uh, A10. And uh, we'll start pulling a vacuum on this one and start pumping down A11. That'll be the last three we're doing. We've got a single hose, guys. Going up to the suction. There's no real way I can get back in there to the liquid. Take the Schrader off and pull a vacuum. So we're just gonna go one hose it right here. So this is A10. It's gonna pull a vacuum on A10. And I'm pumping down A11 right now. It's a suction for A11 my liquid line back there so once we get to about 10 psi we'll vent the rest and we'll go take out the dryer from a11 so we're looking pretty good guys pretty good pressure behind this hand valve. I just close it to uh, to make sure that if there's any re residual vapor back here that it, it doesn't come out this way. So, yep. Make sure you would drag your valves. We're good to go on this one. Got one more to go right here. We're done. good to so we're good to go guys we're gonna go ahead and open it up and let it run all right guys this is a09 t1 this is a circuit that's struggling uh we already pulled the dry i mean the uh, we already pulled the screen the screen is absolutely clear we've removed the filter dryer a uh, bit of a hand valve is open and we are feeding refrigerant but this valve is not feeding properly so I have backed this out all the way. This valve is 100% open, and um, there's, there's something wrong with it. There it is, see? Fans just kicked on, and uh, as soon as um, as soon as that coil warms up, you're gonna see them shut off, and that TXV just can't uh, keep up with the load, so we're gonna have to change it out. There it is, guys. Fans are shut off. Didn't even take 45 seconds from when I shut the video off. Here's a new valve, 448, 449. Buddy's over here taking this one out already. We're ready to roll. His old valve's out. New valve's in. Got my buddy here, it doesn't let me do anything, so I'm just gonna put everything back and we're good to go. gummed up let's try to get this pin out 
Oh yeah, it's nice and tough. That's why this wasn't moving. Yeah. See all that? Damn. Got some waxy buildup. So there's a power head. There's nothing really to it. So it was definitely gummed up. We'll see how that new one acts. I just started it up. Hey guys, well, it's finally feeding. Uh, we got about negative five degrees. Set point's negative eight. Super heat's about seven right now. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, leave it for today. There's definitely some moisture in the system. There's already uh, signs of some wax buildup. So we're gonna have to do an acid test. We're probably gonna change the oil, change the dryer, and um, change the oil filter. And we're gonna put some high acid uh, dryers and we'll probably be back in about a week and change them again and then after that depending on how they live we'll probably be back after maybe a week or two so for now all the cases came down to temp uh superheat was good on that new valve um man it was just a long day and we came here about 10 11 in the morning and it's uh nine o'clock so this store is good to go like I said, I'm still going to probably be back tomorrow and do all that extra work. But for tonight, I'm on call. Got another store to go to. So that'll be it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the content. And we'll see you on the next call, gents.